Hi everybody. So I just wanted to jump on really quickly. My name is Sherry and I am on Cape Cod, Massachusetts and I am a Pamper Chef consultant. And today I'm going to make a white chicken chili. It's absolutely one of my favorite recipes. I'm going to do it in our quick cooker. This can also be done in the instant pot. It is super fast and super easy. So you don't want to blink or you're going to miss the entire thing. I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in my quick cooker and then I am just going to set my quick cooker on sear so I can start searing my veggies. So what I have here is two bell peppers that I've already uh, diced up and a whole large onion and I'm going to show you guys just exactly how I diced it. Um, so this is our manual food processor. Uh, the beauty of it is you do not have to plug it in. You just put your veggies in. You don't have to plug it in. And then you just put your cap on here. And then this is how it works. So if you have a few big pieces in there, you can remove them or just move them around. And then I just sliced up that whole part of that onion in just seconds. So that makes life super easy. Now, jalapeno. I did do an entire jalapeno uh, pepper and I took the seeds out because, and you're getting kind of off kilter here. The reason that I put, um, took the seeds out is because I don't like it spicy, but if you're somebody who really likes spicy, you would just leave your seeds in. And if you um, are using a whole jalapeno and you want kind of medium, then do half seeds and half seeds out. All right, so we're just gonna, Popper veggies in here. Let me just make sure this is, oh, there we go. I can hear it now. And then I'm gonna add some garlic. So fresh garlic is always best. So I'm gonna use our garlic press and you don't have to peel it. You just pop your garlic in, give it a nice squeeze. And then what you're left with is just the peel. So you can just get that out of there. Now. Anybody who knows me at all, they've heard this so many times they get sick of hearing it. But when you buy your garlic in the grocery store, all pre-done for you, it um, has a lot of chemicals in it. So um, it will last in your refrigerator for up to a year. I actually did a test on this and um, I could have still used it a year later. So that just goes to show how much chemicals in there to keep it from going bad but really you're taking out whatever is good in garlic uh, by doing that. So, so again, we have a little bit of olive oil in here. We have a whole jalapeno that I chopped up with my pepper and uh, two peppers and a very large onion. And then I'm just lightly sauteing this. And while that's coming up to a little saute, I'm gonna open up my a uh, bag of corn, so we're going to add a bag of, bag of corn to this. I'm going to show you guys our can opener. So lots of people look at our can opener and they have no idea how to use it and it's actually so easy. Um, what it is is there's this little nub right here and you just take that and you bump it to the can and then you can just start twisting. When you start twisting it attaches itself to the can. And then you just go one time all the way around. You kind of feel it release. I just felt it. You go one to two times the opposite way to take it off. There's even a little beaker here that you can um, pull the top off with the beaker. You can use your hands too. What I love about it, absolutely no sharp edges. And it just sits on top of the can. So you don't have to worry about it dropping into your food. And let me tell you something. If um, you have a can opener that does drop into your food, just wash your can before the top of your can before you open it because there's lots of things that go on in those warehouses and you just wanna wash the top of your can, okay? That's all I'm gonna say on the subject. So, my veggies are looking great. I'm gonna add four cups of chicken stock here. I'm going to add my northern beans, so two cans of northern beans. And add my corn. And then I'm going to add one 
heaping tablespoon of chipotle seasoning. And if you don't know, uh, Pampered Chef actually has seasonings. They are amazing. We have a whole bunch of them. Um, and this is smoky apple wood, and I'm actually going to do two of these. And then I'm going to give that a good stir. Now, you can use as a thickener some flour and butter, you know, make a little roux um, and do flour and butter. Or you can do what I'm going to do is just some cornstarch, um, a couple tablespoons of cornstarch and a little bit of water. The important thing with that is just dissolve the cornstarch first before you add it or you'll have clumps and you don't want that. Um, <clears throat> but before the, I do that, I'm just going to add my chicken. Now you'll see I'm just adding my chicken in whole pieces here. No need for cutting this up. When this is all done, I'm going to chop everything together all at once using my salad choppers. So once this is finished cooking, I'm just going to chop, chop, chop. All my chicken will be chopped up in here and um, it'll be ready to go. So there we go. So I did a double batch of this. You can do half this recipe if you have a smaller family. I'm doing this for some friends tomorrow, so I needed to make a big batch. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just put my cover on and set the timer on the soup setting for eight minutes. Once it's done, after eight minutes, I'm going to naturally steam release, let the steam out. I'm going to chop, chop, chop. I'm going to add two cups of milk and I'm going to add cheddar cheese, a block of cheddar cheese. You guys, this soup is to die for, I promise you. So um, I know a lot of people get the instant pot or the quick cooker. They really don't know what to do. So hopefully this is a great recipe for you to try out. Okay, if you want to um, check out my page with all kinds of recipes and stuff, it's Sherry's Kitchen slash Cooking Solutions with Pampered Chef on uh, Facebook. Okay, bye everyone.